Who are the Mythbusters? James Gleason, Eric Schmidt. Between the two of them, they have no years of Mythbusting experience. They don't just tell the myths, they do them. Man, this is a mighty fine looking watermelon. I wonder why they had it at the staff lounge in the refrigerator. Hmm, I don't know. It sure smells good. It's hard. And man, this thing is heavy. You know, I was thinking about the other day about Galileo's law of uniform acceleration, where it talks about two masses of different, uh, of different weight that they would accelerate at the same rate. You know, I just don't know if I believe that it's true or not. I just got to test it myself. Sure as James was here. Okay, here we go. Wow, man, that watermelon was moving. I sure hope they weren't going to use that for something else. <laughs> hmm. I still don't believe it though. I don't. I think something lighter. It's got to go a little bit slower. So I've got here another test. A little bit smaller melon. A honeydew melon. Let's give it a shot. Okay, here we go. One, two, and go. Hey, Eric. Whoa. Eric. Yeah. Hey, sorry uh, to startle you. Yeah. But I was looking for my watermelon. Uh, I bought a watermelon yesterday, and I put it in the staff refrigerator, and I. I can't find it. I wanted to have it during lunch. Um, watermelon? What did it look like? What, what did it look like? It, yeah. It's round um, and green? Uh, well, anyway. Hey, what are you doing up here? You know, I'm just testing out some of Galileo's laws. Ooh, Galileo. I love yeah. Galileo. In fact, that reminds me, we've been getting a lot of emails here on Mythbusters about laws of Copernicus and Galileo and Newton, some even stretching back to Aristotle, as it relates to inertia, as it relates to gravity, as it relates to falling objects, and you know, we're all about having fun, so Absolutely. let's throw some things off of the building. James and Eric are going to throw two objects from the roof to see which will land first. You know, all I have is a couple of apples. A couple of apples, that's, you know, that's not really going to work. It's too bad I can't find my watermelon because that would have been cool to play with that because you need something of, of varying sizes. You see, the whole point of what Galileo was trying to demonstrate was that Aristotle was in fact incorrect, that the rate of descent is independent of the mass. So we need something with a much larger mass than an apple. We need an apple and something of big mass. Let me see, what is up here on the roof? Whoa! Oh, man, I hope he's okay. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> I bet you James can be a little bit upset with me. James! Oh. James! Are, are you okay? Oh, okay. How can I be okay? You threw me off a building for... Hey, here's my watermelon. 